Welcome back, it's Melanie or She Shit Scrappers. So today I'm back with a two page layout using the Hey Handsome collection. I am going to be using this layout uh, from the catalog for page one. And I know I've kind of highlighted this collection quite a few times this month, but I am absolutely loving it. I am so thankful for a more masculine collection. And I have so many photos, obviously, of my boys that I feel like I can now scrapbook. And so I am just using it up. So I am going to have a pine that's at green border, but only on the three sides. I want, um, because it is a two page layout, I want it to kind of flow across the page. Um, and then I am going to be using some, I have some scraps left over from the scrapbooking workshop. I am spacing those layouts apart over the next couple months for you. Um, so they are all done, but I didn't want to kind of overload with just scrapbooking workshops either. So I do have some scraps from there. I'm cutting these squares in two by two They're two by two squares. Um, I think that green there was a... Um, exclusive in the workshop and I think that blue there as well if I remember correctly so just kind of making sure I kind of counted a lot of times if I do a layout like this I cut way too many squares so I kind of quickly counted the squares um on the layout there and just kind of trying to get quite a few of the different colors if I can um I'm going to use kind of the front and the backs of them just to get quite more patterns um, on that first layout. So I am going to get frustrated. <laughs> um, uh, whenever I do this, I try to line it up and a lot of times my finger gets stuck on the tape <laughs> and like you can see it like pulled it all up and so I have to start over. Um, so I did tape down that second page, but the first page, because I knew some of the squares were going to be overlapping um, the white paper, I wanted to kind of finalize uh, the squares on the paper before I uh, taped it down to the border. And I'm kind of going to get a, them, oh, wow, sorry. I'm going to get them kind of lined up and then skip kind of ahead so you don't have to watch me tape them all down. Um, so there's kind of the final product and now I will tape it down to the border. Um, I wanted to be able to flip the paper or over and then cut off the excess um, of the squares that were overlapping. So now that I have that I am going to be scrapbooking I believe just three photos and I'm actually going to be scrapbooking photos of my son biking. Um, these are from, I think I'm still scrapbooking 2020. I, for being quarantined and not being able to go do, I'll say things, I guess, I don't know, being stuck at home most of the time, I sure have a lot of photos because it forced us to go outside um, and kind of explore outside, do things outside. Um, so I was actually surprised when I printed photos from like spring, summer of 2020, how many photos I actually have. Um, so I have started to kind of thin out the photos I have printed. I have photos printed up through I think maybe July of 2023 um, and I used to print so many of them. I have started to kind of thin them out um, and what I don't use I actually will give to the kids to scrapbook if they want to. Uh, I just there's so many photos and a lot of them either they're not great quality or kind of duplicates so to speak um so I'm really trying to thin them out because I have come to the realization I have so many albums and already um and in 2020 my kids would have been ooh, four and six so at that age already I'm running out of room for albums um 
So I need to kind of condense as much as I can. So on page two, I decide I cut those pictures down, I believe, into four by four. Um, and then wanted to use that paprika kind of uh, the word paper and then the striped paper all the way across. I do think I I was talking and not paying attention to the video. <laughs> I do think I cut the striped paper um, so I didn't waste a good chunk of it. I love all the papers in this collection so I'm going to kind of save as many as I can. I am going to use that picture my life card. It is a bike and I thought it was just perfect um, but wanted to bring in some of these stamps here. And I do kind of scrap lift um, that layout from the catalog pretty, pretty close to the whole thing. Um, so I am going to use the stamps here um, and use the authentic stamp. And then I think I do use the looking good stamp as well. I love these. I think they're great titles for really any layout. Um, change the color of the ink and turn it into, you know, kind of more girly. That's the fun thing about stamps I've found um, and thin cuts. I love when they have thin cuts because I don't love fussy cutting. I will if I have to, um, but I definitely love when they come with thin cuts. I will usually use a piece of washi tape um, to tape the thin cuts cut to the paper. I know I've seen, I actually have done it before. This is the way I usually do it where I stamp first and then cut, but I have seen or I have done, I guess, where I cut it out and then stamp on the cutout image. Um, there's one stamp and thin cut I'm thinking in particular, it's waves. And for some reason, I just could not get them lined up when I stamped and then added the thin cut on top of it. So I think what I did after that was um, cut the thin cut out and then stamp the image on it instead. So with embellishing layout one, I am sticking kind of close to um, what they use uh, in the catalog. I am changing it up just a little bit. Um, instead of the tag, because I think I've used all my tags, I decided to use the top hat. Doesn't match my photos, but I am learning to be okay with it. <laughs> it has been a struggle, uh, but then kind of trying to keep the embellishments pretty similar. Um, instead of that star, because I matted my photo with the paprika, so instead of the star paper, I used a strip of green. Um, and then I decided to go back to the stamp set here. Um, there is this kind of fun pattern stamp there, and I decided to add to it at the bottom. I didn't really want to, I guess, embellish the way that they had at the bottom. Um, and so I just decided to add that to fill in some of the white space. You can see I tried to add it to page two as well. And I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know if I re-inked it in between, but that top definitely did not come off clean. Um, so it is what it is. And I decided, you know, the the collection's not completely grungy, um, but it does have that feel a little bit. And so I figured there's no really fixing it now. Um, I tried to stamp on top of it as well, and I think that almost made it worse. So it is what it is. I'm going to move on and not let it bother me. Um, but then I really kind of had to figure out how to... I guess embellish the rest of it. Uh, there are some acrylic pieces that um, I did buy. That is the extra embellishment for this collection are acrylic pieces and there's some really fun pieces. Um, there's a tie and a top hat, sunglasses, regular glasses, just so cute and so fun. Um, but I decided to kind of use some of the acrylic pieces kind of like they have, add some more um, where I thought necessary. And then the stamp set actually did have stars as well. And so I decided to kind of add some of the stamp stars to make that cluster at the top. Um, and then I did actually in a couple of the whiter paper squares on page one, I did the second generation stamping where it, um, so first generation would be, you know, you 
immediately inked up your stamp stamped second generation is instead of re-inking you go and stamp again and it's just a lighter shade of the ink so here's where i'm kind of trying to now figure out how to embellish page two there are kind of these layering pieces almost like labels um, on the sticker sheet and i decided to kind of layer them behind the green on page one and then i added a green one to page two at the top there are some biking embellishments and stickers so i decided to try to use as many of those as i could um, one said you're a classic the other one i believe is just a bike i really wanted to try to figure out a way to kind of cover up some of that stamped image at the top um, because i really was not happy with the way it turned out um, so they have these little kind of tabs there that are circular, which I think were amazing. So I just layered those at the top there to cover it out, to cover it up. And then it kind of gave me a little, I guess a base for another little cluster. So I really um, used a bunch of different products from the Hey Handsome collection. I used that Picture My Life card, the stamps, the acrylic pieces, papers and stickers so really this layout is a good representation of all things hey handsome <laughs> um, so we are just going to kind of finish up I kind of was looking at the layout in the catalog and they had some embellishments underneath the authentic and then the tree just didn't work out for me I did add those stamped images and that acrylic arrow at the bottom to fill in more of that white space but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will have the link for this collection down below if you are interested I appreciate all of your support and we will see you next time bye guys